Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to look at circumference today. Circumference is the distance or the length around the outside of a circle. So for example, if I were looking at um, this big red circle here, I would grab a ruler and measure all the way around the outside of it. Um, it's not really the easiest thing to do, but there are ways that we can calculate the circumference and that's what we're going to look at today. Before we can talk about um, circumference completely, I want to talk just a little bit about pi. Pi is a number that you'll see all the time when you're dealing with circles. It's represented by this symbol that you see right here, and that's the pi symbol. And pi is just a number. It's about 3.14. All right? So we're going to use the number 3.14 to approximate our answers. All right? So that's basically what pi is. All right, let's take a look at our um, formula. So to find the circumference or the length around the outside of the circle, you need to multiply pi, or about 3.14, times the diameter. That's the circumference that we're looking for, what you see in blue there. The pi, again, 3.14, about. And the diameter is that cord that goes from one point on the circle to another and goes through the center. So that is the diameter, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So here's a circle that we have. We know the diameter is 5 centimeters. We're asked to find the circumference. So what we're going to do is substitute what we know into our equation. We'll just leave the pi symbol as the pi symbol for now and just change the diameter to being 5. Now, there are two different types of answers that you can give for this. If you're asked for the exact circumference of a circle. The exact circumference is 5 pi. Because pi is what we call an irrational number, the, the decimal goes on and on. It's not just 3.14, it's 3.14, and then it keeps going on. And it's not a repeating decimal. So we can't really write the, that what pi is as an exact number. But what we can do if we want the exact answer is we would say it's 5 pi centimeters around the distance, the distance around the outside of the circle. If we're looking for an approximate answer, we would then change pi into being 3.14, multiply that times 5, and get our answer of about 15.7 centimeters. It's a little bit more helpful to be in this form, but we have to remember that it is an approximate answer when it's in this form. It's an exact answer when it's in that form. All right, let's look at another one. With this circle here, we have not been given the diameter. We've been given the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle, which is a radius. Okay? Because we've been given a radius, we know that our radius times 2 is equal to the diameter. So instead of having the equation, the circumference is equal to the pi times the diameter, we have pi times 2r. It means the same thing. Two times our radius is the same thing as our diameter. So that's something to look out for when you're, you're working with circumference. You'll often be given the radius instead of the diameter to multiply it times 2. Again, our exact circumference, 6 pi inches. Our approximate circumference, we change its pi to being 3.14. Multiply 6 times 3.14, and you'll get 18.84 inches. That's going to be your approximate distance. All right? And that is how you solve the circumference when you're given a radius. Now, one other type of question that you may be asked is if you're given kind of a partial circle. This will usually, usually be given in either what we call semicircles, which is half of a circle, or in quarter circles, all right, where you're given a nice 90 degree angle and it's clear that it's quarter of a circle. All right? So if you're asked to find the perimeter of this, um, you can't call it a polygon because it's got a curved edge, so this shape, then what you would need to do is find the circumference of this circle, divide it by 2, and then add on this 14 that you have here as part of your perimeter. So you'll be measuring the perimeter, that 14, plus half of the circumference. Your equation will look like this. It's a little bit complicated. But there is half of the circumference plus that length, that diameter. 
Remember, circumference is just pi times d. So that's how we would write that we're adding half of the circumference plus the length of the diameter. All right, the diameter is 14, so we're going to substitute that in everywhere you see d. 1 half pi times 14 will give us 7 pi. 14 will remain the same. If you're looking for the exact perimeter, that's it right there. 7 pi plus 14, that's the exact perimeter. Then we can substitute 3.14 in for pi and find our approximate perimeter, which is 35.98 kilometers. It's about 35, almost 36 kilometers. All right? That would be the distance around the outside of this shape. All right? So those are three types of things you can do with circumference. You can solve it if you've been given the diameter. You can solve it if you've been given the radius. And you can solve partial circles as well um, that are part of the perimeter. As long as you remember to add up all the length of all sides that are part of the perimeter, you should be in good shape. All right. Have a wonderful day.